Hey guys, I am back with more Num Num Series 3. This is the second lunchbox pack. This is the last lunchbox pack from what I can tell on the back of the box anyway. Uh, this one has fruits and veggies, candy, and donuts. The last one had fruits and veggies, candy, and marshmallows in it. So I'm really excited, especially for that peach stamp. I love peach and all the little orange. I'm just so excited. So the cool thing about this lunchbox is it kind of... If you're careful with opening it, you can conserve the box and it's, it's a little carrying case itself. You can see there's a little um, handle up here that's shaped like a spoon and then here's a little fake latch and everything. It's really cool. I'll show you in just a minute. Let me go ahead and turn this around and there's the back. Um, so this was the first lunchbox we did right here. You have to go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. And then we have the second or the first lunchbox in this case, right here. Those are the ones we get. I'm really, really excited. It says right here, recycle package in a num num storage case. So like I said, I will show you that right now. So here it is. I took all the num nums out, obviously. And right here is the little latch. You can kind of snap in a little bit. It's lightly, it's not like it snaps in completely. And you just lift that out. Let's turn it around so you can see it a little better. And you just pull the back out here and then there's the little container. Put all your nummy nommies in there and then you close it back up and then take it on the go with you. In each pack there is a checklist and of course it's the regular checklist with the lights on one side and series three on the other side. And then there's the donuts, fruits, the veggies, the marshmallows, the candy, the fiesta food. The glosses, the erase it, and the stamp it. So let's just go ahead and start taking a look at everybody. Let's start with the donuts. So first we have this one. Looks super yummy, honestly. Like look at that frosting. Um, let's see. I gotta find her on the checklist though. She has a cute little bowl. This might be maple sugars, I think. Definitely looks like maple sugars. Supposed to smell like maple. Ooh, yeah, definitely, definitely smells like maple. Oh my gosh, very accurate. Like I said, so far I have been impressed. In previous videos, I said I've been impressed with the num nums smelling better this season. Um, and then we have this little gal, this donut. This is Cherry Ann. She's supposed to smell like cherries, so let's smell. Ooh, yeah, it's subtle for being cherry like cherry is just a very powerful smell and for being cherry It doesn't smell as crazy accurate as I thought it would but it's subtle. You could smell it It's really cool. She's a little bit smished, but we just got to work with her and Get her back on her feet and then we have one more donut one which oh my gosh looks so delicious Look at that. This is Wanda Wildberry Wow, I love this one. Okay, and she's supposed to smell like berries, so... Mmm, I'm kind of smelling it, but it kind of getting a hint of maple. I don't know if it's because they were in the same pack or whatever. Probably because they were in the same pack and the the flavors mixed. But, um, there's like a little, bit, little string here. But, it's still really cute, and I love it. So let's see who is next. Let's go on to the candy ones. So it looks like we have a peppermint of some sort, I think. I'm not sure. Um, this is Peyton Peppermint. And she is supposed to smell like candy canes or peppermint. So let's go ahead and smell her. Yep, yep, she wins. She wins for... <laughs> Mint's usually an easy scent to get past you. So that's awesome. And then we have this one. Oh, she's like a little candy heart. Oh my gosh. This is Nana Hearts. She's a little heart by her eye. Oh, and it says hug me. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I didn't even notice that. I just thought she was just like a yellow candy. Oh, that's really cute. And her tail's even a heart. Oh my gosh. That is really cute. Let's see what she's supposed to smell like. I don't know. Let me just smell her first. Kind of smells like banana a little bit. Let's see what she's supposed to smell like. Oh yeah, she's supposed to smell like banana. I thought she was supposed to, I guess, her name is Nana Hart, so it must be banana. Anyway, let's go on to the last candy one for this pack. I can't get it out. Oh, there we go. This one's like a, this is, this is like, I don't know, a rock candy, but it doesn't look like a rock candy. It has a stick. Anyway, this is Brooklyn Blue. And she's supposed to smell like blue raspberry. 
So let's go ahead and smell her. Mm, I'm not smelling her too much either. She does smell fruity. But I mean, I've smelled other ones that smell, are supposed to smell like blue raspberry and they smell way better. But she's still super cute. I'm going to stack her on her friends like that. And then we have our fruits and veggies. So first we have our grapes. The grapes are so cute. Oh my gosh, this is Victor Vines. And he's supposed to smell like grapes, so... Oh yes, he smells like artificial grape, like hands down, like that cough medicine I used to take. <laughs> really awesome. I love it. I love his texturing. I just he's so cool. Okay, and then we have a veggie. We have a little corn. This is too much for me. This is carry corn. Now she's supposed to smell like corn, so I don't know. I don't have high hopes for this one, so let's see. Ooh, she kind of like in a weird way does smell like corn, but it's perfumey corn. Like if you were to make corn into a perfume, that's what she smells like, which I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. <laughs> but that kind of looks like popcorn right there, her tail, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, now we have the orange. Look at the orange, I love his texture. I love it. You can see it in the light. He has like the texture of an orange. Uh, this one's name is Oscar Orange and he's supposed to smell like oranges. So let's smell him. Ooh, yep. Definitely smells like orange. More, more of a rubbery smell than actual orange, but you can definitely get the hint of orange. I love his bright, bright color and I like, I just, I love the overall look of him. Before we set him back there, we have two erase it's to erase it noms that snap together and then they could fit inside of him because look they're little orange slices I am absolutely 10,000% loving this about series 3 how the noms are like this and they actually go inside here you know like with uh, let's just take season 1 for example where he had a cupcake nom and a motorized nom. I mean that happens in all the seasons. Even in this season we have motorized ones and everything. They don't really go together, you know what I mean? And I, I'm just talking so much. <laughs> but I love how these just go together. I hope you guys know what I'm trying to relay over here. But I'm not gonna stick them in here um, because I want you guys to see them. But this is really cool. I really like them. One has a bow and one doesn't. And these are Slice and Wedge. Let me smell them. Mm. They do actually have an orange smell. They do. They have more of an orange smell than he does. Anyway. So amazing. And then we have our Peach Stampet. Oh my gosh. So wait, what's his name? Um, Peachy Stampet. And oh wait. It says on the checklist he's fuzzy. It says on the checklist he's fuzzy. Oh my gosh. Wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh my gosh. He's fuzzy. You guys, this is flocked. No way. <gasps> well, I thought series two, I always said series two is my favorite, but I think series three is my favorite. I really do. <laughs> so anyway, it's probably supposed to smell like peaches, but let's see. Ooh, there's the stamp. Oh, I thought it'd be orange um, or more of a peachy color, but it's like a yellow. I'm gonna stamp the checklist here. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah, all right, I'll show you what it looks like up close here in a second. But that's what it, that's what it looks like. And there it is, all stampy. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. I love the stamps. They're definitely my favorite. I don't know, the eraser ones are really cool, but stamp ones have always been a fan favorite of mine. But this is really cool that she's fuzzy. I love it, oh my goodness. Okay, wait, I gotta, I'm gonna try to stack these guys so I can fit her here. Okay, great. And now we just have the mystery one left. Really, fingers crossed for a fruit or a veggie because they are definitely my favorites. Um, so let's see. See what it's gonna be. And we have. Oh no, it's not even. But this is like a main course for a lunchbox. This is the burrito, the cheesy burrito. So still a cool one. Still a cool one. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Um, what's she supposed to smell like? cheese or just burritos in general she's just supposed to smell like a burrito so let's smell her I'm definitely not getting a burrito definitely 100% not getting a burrito uh, she smells 
fruity and perfumey. <laughs> like most of them. Um, not most of them, but like the ones that don't have that distinct smell. That's what they kind of smell like, if that makes sense. She doesn't smell like rubber. I do want to say, compared to season one, these smell so much less like rubber. You know what I mean? So that's a plus. Anyway, you guys will have to let me know which one was your favorite. I don't even think I can answer that question, to be honest with you guys. Okay, if I could pick a num and an om. The little peach stamp, definitely. And I think, uh, it's so hard, it's so hard. I think maybe the grapes, maybe. I don't know, because I really, like the, the heart candy is so clever. I didn't even notice that was a heart candy, the orange, I love the orange. And then this donut's so beautiful, this purple one. But anyway, let me know your favorite. Let me know your favorite num and nom, or just one if you just have one favorite. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.